Once upon a time, there was a small mice family living in a faraway village. This is Papa Mouse. This is Mama Mouse. These are their cute three sons. They lived very happily. One day, A few moments later. Wow, this is a wonderful article. It's about variation of our coat color. Oh, even coat color of my sons are different from each other. If I could have a better explanation about it, I can ask Dr. Alice. One eternity later. Hi, Mr. Alvin. After a long time. Hi, Dr. Alice. Nice to meet you after a long time. Actually, I am here today to get an explanation about an amazing thing. Sure. How can I help you? What do you want to know? The coat color of my three sons are different from each other. I am really curious about how it happened. Can you explain it to me? Sure. I will explain. Mr. Alvin, do you know that? To change your coat color, two genes A and C are responsible. The wild type color Agouti is dominant to the solid color for black. That is why both Agouti and black colored babies are born. However, the gene C also affects the phenotype because it affects the pigment production. If the gene is recessive homozygous, fur coloration pigments are not produced. This results in the birth of white baby mice. I will further explain this using this Punnett square. In here, two parents are of a good color, just like you and your wife. They are considered as heterozygous for both genes. These are the gametes made by these parents. This planet core shows possible genotypes and phenotype of the offspring. The mice with at least one dominant A and C alleles for the relevant genes are a good and the mice with recessive homozygous A and at least one dominant CLA in the gene are black. They are for the genotypes with recessive homozygous C gene A produce albino mice regardless of the gene A. This is because the homozygous recessive C gene inhibit pigment production. According to that, a cross between heterozygous for both genes would generate offspring with this phenotypic ratio. This phenomenon is known as recessive epistasis. This is the first time I am hearing this. Can you explain it more? Okay, I will explain it further. Recessive epistasis is a polygenic interaction where a recessive homozygous gene controls the phenotype of another gene responsible for a trait. In albinism, the gene C is epistatic to the gene A. That means the gene C masks the effect of the gene A. Do you know that this genetic interaction is present in humans, dogs and several other animal species? Therefore, Recessive epistasis is the reason for albinism and for the existence of three different coat colors in mice rather than having two. That is why your two sons look different from you and your wife. Oh, thank you very much for explaining it to me. I understood it very well. You are welcome Mr. Alvin. I should go home now. Goodbye. At the end, Papa Mouse went home and lived very happily with his family.